All right, what's on the bench today? It is a Ramsey FM transceiver. Um, I bought this thinking it would be a good um, learning um, vehicle, right? Uh, a, a product that we could take a look at because it's all through whole technology, it's all simple, and there's full schematics and everything. I everything you need to know about this is documented. So um, I thought it would be I thought it would be great for the channel, and. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll go through every single bit of electronics in this thing. Um, like I said, uh, ham radios are great for learning everything from power supplies to audio circuits to RF circuits to, you know, all kinds of stuff in between. And so uh, this is, a, I think this will be, this will be great. So let's, let's pop it open first because I think you'll be impressed on the inside here. <laughs> impressed or shocked or something. All right, let's lift off the cover, and boom, there we go. Uh, so, everything is through hole, which is great. Um, and there's all this weird stuff over here. That's probably the first thing you saw. He's like, what the heck's going on over there? <laughs> and so there's a whole bunch of diode switching over there. If you don't know what that is, we'll, we'll, we'll explain it. Um, but uh, yeah, this is where you set uh, all of the frequencies. So this is before microprocessors, this is before E squared proms. You needed to have non-volatile memory and you did non-volatile memory by putting in diodes. <laughs> so we'll, we'll, take, we'll take a look at that. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's, uh, it's a two meter, 144 megahertz uh, transceiver and uh, uses off the shelf parts. Um, yeah, I think it can do packet and other things. Uh, I think there's a way to strap the board to do that. Um, let's see here. The board says this is a Ramsey's Electronics FX146 copyright 1091 revision 1 1.3. Uh, so here's the book. Back up here. That okay on the camera there? I guess try to get the glare off of it. Um, yeah, so it was a kit. Somebody put it together. They did a good job. The person who put this together did a good job. I bought it off of eBay. Um, 140 to 180 megahertz. So I, I want to see if I can get it to receive uh, weather. Right now, the diode strapping is not set for uh, for the for one of the weather channels. But uh, I'm going to see if I can if I can program it to do that. Uh, fold out schematics, multi part, blah, 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 yeah. Um, Ramsey. I don't think they're in business anymore. Correct me if I'm wrong, but may maybe they're still kicking around. Um, Hobby Kits Division. Ramsey was always kind of, uh, it's like, it's okay, but not great. <laughs> um, real nice, real nice manual, though. Uh, lots, lots of Mr. They spent, they spent a lot of time. They spent a lot of time working on this thing. So they did, they did a pretty good job on this one. Um, quite, I'm quite impressed with this one. Um, and, uh, I think what we'll do is we'll just pick random parts of the thing, um, and show how each block works. Uh, there's a phase lock loop. So we'll talk about phase lock loops. Um, there's a separate transmit section and a separate receive section, so we'll look at those. There's a sec separate power amplifier section, so we'll, we'll look at that. Um, we'll look at the modulation. How, this is FM modulation. How is that accomplished in the circuit? Um, I think there is a voice actuated switch in the circuit. Uh, we'll look at that. Um, yeah, all kinds of good things. So we'll be using oscilloscopes and spectrum analyzers and, uh, yeah, all kinds of good things. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's talk about the overall, the overall design of the thing. Uh, so they give us a block diagram. Uh, there's a crystal, so there's a master crystal, and we're going to divide that down. Um, we're going to use that in a phase lock loop. So this is the this is the phase lock loop. There's a phase detector, a loop filter. There, there's an output VCO, it comes back around. There's a divide by N circuit that does the uh, frequency setting. Um, 
there's a bunch of programming pins that sets this divide by n. That's what all of those diodes do. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that. And then once you have the synthesized output frequency, uh, it goes into the receive section and the transmit section. Uh, the receive section uh, comes from the antenna and it comes through a preamp and, and a bandpass filter, an, another preamp, and then it goes into a chip that sort of is a receiver chip that does everything. Um, and it's a, a Motorola part, I believe, uh, 3335, dual conversion FM trans receiver. Uh, I think this down converts it uh, also. It has a, a, a separate oscillator and down conversion to 455 kilohertz. And then an audio amplifier. Um, and then the transmit circuit goes into a buffer, a driver, and a final. So very, that's a very easy, a very easy path there. And then there's a, uh, um, oh, way down here, I don't think you can see that. Uh, there is a microphone um, that goes into a microphone amplifier and then runs up to do modulation. So yeah, that's, that's what we got going for us. Now we have some really good tools. We have this lovely big, uh, big document here that's the PC board layout and all the component locations. There is a silk screen on the board, but sometimes it's a little hard to see. And the components aren't uh, necessarily right next to one another in the board. So uh, this would be good to, to, to be able to find things. Um, it is a double-sided board. Mm, I don't know if it's plated through. I think, yeah, I think it's plated through holes. So it's double-sided, plated through holes. Pretty early though, there's no silk screen. Um, 1991, PC boards were expensive. Uh, yeah, so again, 1991. Yeah. Give a shout out down below if you ever worked for Ramsey and designed some of their things. And then we have a, uh, a nice big, uh, a big schematic here. I will, during the uh, uh, videos, I'll be blowing this up and showing just just pieces of it. But uh, we have a nice, nice single sheet full schematic, so uh, uh, that looks good. All right. Well, that's just a quick introduction to a series I'm going to be doing here on on this thing. Um, we have the power coming in here, the power regulation, another power regulator. There's an inductor back there to quiet the RF into the power supply. Over here, you can see the power amplifier uses some TO5 cans. Um, I think this thing goes up to maybe 10, 10 watts, something like that. Um, and then all of the uh, all the diode switching over here. So, yeah, lots of fun and goodness. All right, stay tuned.